So this is how Rachel packs. <laughs> I'm just looking at like $15 in Ziploc bags. I'm sorry, but <laughs> everything that I have as far as like shampoo and conditioner, it's, it's liquidy. And I am so afraid that it's gonna ruin our clothes. So whenever I pack, I stuff everything into a Ziploc bag, usually by outfit. And then I can just grab an outfit and go. Can we just put the liquid in a Ziploc bag and save all the Ziploc bags that our clothes are in? Oh, don't worry. The liquid is in a Ziploc bag, but I don't trust that Ziploc bag not to fail. So yeah, I'm a bit of a control freak. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I'm looking in the background, looking like, is there anything that bra anybody hanging somewhere? can see? Yeah. yeah. Underwear. We spread out in my the hotel mess. room. My mess. Yes. I'm a bit of a messy person yeah. when it comes to like traveling. You know, hey, we're busy. We're in and out, in and out. And here's the thing. I don't usually like to let like the housekeepers come into the room, mostly because I don't want them to see my mess. It, we'd be embarrassed. But here's the thing, when you're in a hotel room, you don't have a dedicated space for stuff. That's you're right. just sort of figuring it out for the couple days that you're in that place. And I, that actually brings two questions. I want to know, let us know down in the comment section, do you let the housekeepers come in or do you just say like, hey, don't come in while I'm here. We just permanently keep the like, I'm sleeping sign outside. Also, do you unpack? Me, I live out of the suitcase. Rachel I unpacks pack. I unpack. everything. Every drawer, every like closet, there's stuff hanging. Me, everything is in a suitcase. I'm right. curious. Let us know down below. On a side note, I am in love with this barn door, these glass yes. barn doors. This is coming home with us. Well, it kind of is. So in our studio right now, there is a set of pocket doors that goes from the studio to the main part of the house. And you can't even use them. They don't work because it's from 1976. And it's only like 25 inches, so you can't fit anything through. So like we bought the refrigerator or buy couches. You have to go all the way Good around luck. the back. So I said, since we're tearing down stuff, let's widen that. And then I was like, Rachel hates doors. She doesn't like swinging doors. I right? don't. I have like a in door In the trailer, thing. in the house, because it takes up room. Where are you going to open it? So I think we're going to get these kind. We saw it at Chris and Miriam's, and Beautiful. these are gorgeous, like, country barn doors. And that's not going to really go in the studio, but these glass ones, that would fit perfectly. It doesn't even have to be glass, but just like that modern motif. We need to reach out to Marriott and be like, where do you get your doors? Yeah. So it is day four. I can't believe our trip is almost over. It's Saturday. It has flown by. Yeah. I'm excited though, because tonight's the meetup. I yes. really can't wait for that. Rachel's been preparing her hug. She's been jumping up and down. Yes, I've been loading them. And uh, right now we're waiting for Chris and Miriam to come get us because we're going to go Tubing. to the Provo River to go rafting. Is that a tube or a raft? No, we're going on rafts, I believe. Okay. And uh, we're going to go with Chris and Miriam and all the kids. The so kiddos. We're really looking forward to spending the day with them. Then we have the meetup tonight. And I'm really, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm really hoping that for breakfast, we get to go back and get that burger. Like, I'm in love with that burger. I'm sorry. Yes. It is the greatest the Utah fast burger. burger. It's the greatest fast food. I, I don't even know if it's fast food, but it's the greatest, like, takeout burger I have ever had. Everyone talks about In-N-Out Burger and Whataburger. This, they have nothing compared to this burger. I definitely think we need to bring this home to places like Burger Fi or different restaurants. Right. Where, you know, they have uh, like a various burger toppings. Right. This is unlike anything I've ever had at a specialty burger shop. And I think the Utah burger needs to come to Florida. The only way to make it better would to be put blue cheese on top of it. Ooh, yeah, but Chris hates that. And I saw they had that blue cheese burger next to it. And I was thinking maybe we can go there before we leave. And say, can I modify the Utah burger? Can we'll we put it, some more stuff on it? We'll call it the Utah Blue. <laughs> so, uh, how was your day yesterday? Did you enjoy yourself? I had such a, a beautiful time. 
because the mountains were breathtaking. And yep. also, I felt like just a kid again, getting to go on rides yeah. and, and just adventure out. And I think sometimes we get in that older person mentality yeah. and we don't allow ourselves to go on rides like, I'm too old for that. We're not. The teenagers that were there, which was mostly teenagers, they were looking at us like, what are these old farts doing? Gosh. <laughs> we were having more fun than they were. We were. I mean, it was so much fun. So, I mean, it's just a great place. If you haven't gotten a chance, come out here to Utah. Come see all the cool scenery out here. And I know this is only one little part. I mean, one day I'd love to get down to southern Utah. I would love to go see Zion National Park. Yes. And see, I mean, there's... There's so many cool places in this country, and my goal is I want to travel and see them all. I want to see them all. That's yeah. I don't even need to leave this country. Like, no. There's plenty that's right here. Yeah, we can see all kinds of stuff. Okay, let me go finish getting the vlog uploaded because they're going to be here like any second. Are you ready for this? I am so ready. Well, hello, little camera I haven't seen in a minute. Good morning. Good morning. Howdy. Oh, oh, wait a second. I see my burger. Oh, yes. This one's my burger. You guys just made my day. <laughs> hey, family. I've been dreaming about that you burger. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. They didn't load it up with as much meat Oh, look at that. that. The best burger ever. That is happy right there. <laughs> Hap happy in a sleeve. Yeah. Look at Chris with his hat on. I will forget all of the directions he just gave us, but Ruth says don't worry because her dad will remember. And I believe that that would be true. That I don't think remember. Chris is the rule follower. No, I think is. Miriam is the rule follower. No, no, no. My mom is the breaker. Oh, Miriam. See, Miriam and I, we're more twinsy than you guys are. Yeah, yeah. Me and Chris follow the rules, but I sometimes forget them. Miriam, see, Miriam would have let me lick the salt roll. She totally would have. Yeah. I probably would have encouraged it. Everybody is already calling colors. I call dibs on the octagon. Look at the ham over here. Are you excited, man? Yeah. yeah. I love it. I want the blue one though. This is not one of those water sources that are slow to go. This is you jump right in and you are moving. Joe is looking for all of the things to secure the camera gear and not lose it to the river. I'm gonna freak right now. Oh my gosh. This is cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so ridiculous. This was the stupidest idea we've ever had. I know it was. This is cold. Wow. Last time I was in the river, I, 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 last time I was in a river, I was in the Colorado River. Get Ruth. Okay. There is nothing lazy about this river. So is the water that you said about wave running this cold too? Quite no, this because cold. this is coming from the this bottom of mountain. the dam. Okay. So this is at, I mean, like nearly freezing. Yeah, no kidding. I can't I can't feel my butt right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and he's pumping it out of the river. Oh, wow. Are you serious? <laughs> oh yes, he can't reach me. Yes. He can reach me. Oh! <laughs> there you go. You're doing a great job today. Oh look, they're gonna stay with us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, are the pets? Oh man. Right down your back. Like my back got like cool. Joe, I go. see it. Oh, Joe's gonna get wet. Yeah. Why do you think I said Joe? I'm about to get very wet. Oh. Oh. That'll be good morning. Good morning. Now my back is in the full on leggings and yeah. swim shirt and the whole deal. This was the best way to ensure me not getting sunburned is to just let nothing see the, the light of day. Okay. <laughs>
But that's, I mean, that's how we go to the Keys, too. So yeah. It's not even a cold thing. It's my just... nose holes will probably get sunburnt somehow, <laughs> weirdly. I will definitely have my sunglasses burnt into my face. Yeah. But, um, raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes, for sure. Well, I have that all the time. All of you the time. You get used to it. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I do not feel my. I do not feel my legs. I'm from Florida. <laughs> no legs. It's like you're gradually. And you're wearing pants. And now I feel like that was brilliant. So halfway through, you have to get out because there's a bridge you can't go under and then just get back in. And that water was cold. Now be careful because we've got quite a steep drop here. Look at it. Look at the fly on your leg, honey. Right on your right on your ankle. Dude, Look at the size huge. of that thing. Where is it? On my leg. It's like the size of a cockroach. <laughs> That was so much fun. Did you have fun? Did you like it? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. That's yes. the first time you guys ever did this? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Um, when Ruth fell out. When you got wet. When, oh, when I got wet. Yeah, I got very wet. You had good expressions because it was like, whoa. Fortunately, the camera wasn't on my face. Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do right now. We're actually going to fly up and we're going to try to get some drone footage. That's we wanted to have the drone follow us, but we I didn't afraid. know. Like at some point, the battery is only going to last 30 minutes. So that means we had an hour of battery and we had to go two hours. And I was like, how am I going to keep it dry when we're not flying it? You're not going to. So we're going to go to try to go upriver a little bit and just launch the drone just so you can see like what it looks like as you go down the river. So what is this place, Chris? Uh, this is Sugar High. It's a keto bakery. Ooh. Well, they have a keto section. But, uh, they have a keto section. Do you want some dessert? I absolutely want some dessert, and you don't even have to ask because you know it's happening. It smells so good in here. It's the butter roll. Ooh, look at these cakes. That's okay. Have you ever had here anything here, Max? No. Nope. No? Well, maybe. I don't know. You don't know? Please watch your children. Unsupervised kids will be given an espresso and a puppy to enjoy on the ride home. That means you're going to purposely misbehave. I'm about to wreck this place now. I'm just kidding. Can you tell us about you? About me? Or like why you started doing keto foods and... Um, so I started keto three years ago in January and I own a bakery. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't eat anything here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I started thinking about it and one day I was making caramel for the store and I wondered if I could caramelize fake sugar. Uh huh. So I found out I could, but then I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> so then I made cheesecake, and we started out with two things. We had our chocolate salted caramel cheesecake, and we had our lemon trifle. Okay. And three years later, we have anywhere between 15 and 20 things in the case every day. Wow. And what is your name? My name is Carly. Carly, and you're the owner? I am the owner. And so if somebody's in Utah, where do they... What are your hours or when are you open? We are here Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 5, and Saturdays, 11 to 3. Cool. And you can find us online. We're working on shipping. 
Uh, that's probably not a good thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you excited, honey? Am I excited? Yes. I'm like behind there as he's picking up. I'm like, is, yes and yes. Is and there yes anything and else? Yes and yes. Is there anything else, Miriam, that, that we need to try? The bagels are really good. <laughs> that, that will not make it home. We actually, we actually just took my husband for me lunch and we got Arby's you put, like, roast beef. sandwich on there. Oh my gosh. And we took and I pulled them off the bun and we cut. One if you're getting a bagel, it's got to be everything. Yeah. yeah. We cut one of the um, garlic parm ones in half and just shoved all the roast beef on it. Yeah. Oh, wait, garlic it. parmesan. And it was awesome. so Garlic good. parmesan or. <laughs> Yeah. Parmesan, or you want everything? Which one do you want? The green chili soup. Is that green chili? Oh wait, if there's something hot, that's even better. There's one green chili cheese left. There you go. It's got our name on it. Okay, so it's a little noisy because we have the road noise, but everybody's inside ordering, and we figured there's noise somewhere. Got to take a look at all of these yummies. Look at that. We're getting a little bit of everything, so that we can bring it home. Yeah. Hopefully this is gonna make it home. I mean, I feel like no Rachel promises. and I, I know I wanna try everything right now, Yeah. but I've gotta save room because tonight is the meat hub and I wanna eat some meat. We came the right day to come here because otherwise, yeah, we would be filling up on this instead of saving ourselves for meat. I have to say this though. I mean, I know she said they're trying to work on shipping. It's really not expensive. No. I mean, I I've seen keto products so much more expensive and all of this, and I feel like there is a lot in there. There's a lot. It was $45 and it's pretty low net carb. The strawberry cheesecake and this, I feel like is a giant serving. That's a really big if serving. If you eat the entire thing, it's, it's almost as big as Rachel's head. We will share this. This is 6.2 net carbs, but most of the things are like three net carbs or lower. And so I feel like that's pretty good. And again, that big giant cheesecake is $5. When I look at some of the stuff that you buy, like even in the grocery store, yeah. pre-packaged stuff, it's all more than that. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. And we get to support a local small business. I love that. You look gorgeous. Well, thank you very much. Look at you. I'm sure everybody's thinking I'm going to be either furred or feathered. I'm thinking we need to stay in the hotel room. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> Let me tuck in your pocket right there because it's kind of hanging out. But it's still hanging out. That's okay. I, I, I like it like that. You look awesome, baby. Thank you. I am so excited. I have put on so much good smelling stuff so I don't stink. So I'm that you can hug it on to everybody I'm else? I'm going to hug it, but I, you know, that's what you're afraid of. Especially, I didn't realize, you know, not wearing sleeves. I'm like, man, my armpit is right there, so don't stink. Because, you know, I always have one armpit that doesn't know it's keto. Oh, look, wait. Let's turn this way. Look at that light. I know, right? There we go. Hello. I am so excited for this because we haven't had a meetup. We, we keep saying we're going to have a meetup. Then COVID happened. Then we ended up flying out here to Utah, so this was perfect. Don't worry. There are more meetups coming, including when we're in Omaha. If you're interested, come you don't meet have to up wait with long. us at Omaha in August. Then we have Keto Palooza in September. And then we're going to find some kind of a Florida meetup later on in the year, like November, December. But I am really, really excited for this. I do have to say, though, we tried that strawberry shortcake. We didn't footage. We no footage. There was no... I could not wait to get into it, and there was no way I was picking up my camera. Well, I mean, it, it did not last long on my plate. We happed it. We shared yep. it. That's right. And I actually knew that I needed Joe to to cut it in half and serve it on a plate separate from his because I figured it was good because Miriam was like, this is the best. Yeah. And I thought, if I don't have it on my own plate and it's like, oh, you take a spoon and I take a spoon, you ain't getting none. And then if I do take a spoon, you're going to be mad like, hey, wait hey. a second. Why are you getting more than me? And we did not bring a scale. No. It was awesome. It was really, really good. So we're getting ready. We're just waiting for the phone call from Chris and Miriam that, hey, we're here. We're downstairs. We're going to head on over there. And on the way down, we've got three giant like priority mailboxes. You know the ones that's like as much as you can stuff in this box? Salt. They're going to change that rule after they see ours because they don't weigh those, right? It's it's all you can fit into that box. So we've got about 100 pounds of salt do going you, home. Do you think that we're mailing the weirdest thing today that the post office has seen today? Well, there's like a 35 pound salt rock in there. So, so there's maybe, a possibility. Yeah. I am so excited. <laughs> It was funny because we needed to carry down a whole mess of salt and I went down first because it was a lot to carry with the camera stuff. 
and I was like, do you have any of those hotel like luggage carts? And they're like, and she's looking at me like, oh my goodness, yes, let me check. And she's like, oh no, every single one is gone. <laughs> I was what? like, all right, well, we're gonna get there's a workout. There's probably one in the whole building. Uh, yeah, well, I think there's a couple, but they were all in use. So I was like, workout time. I'm trying to surprise everybody that she's here. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, who's here? Who's here? She probably doesn't know her. Let me park out of the way. Who's here? Hello! How you know are what? You? When I watched you shoot Good that gun, when I when Were you, you shot proud that, of me? I cried. Oh. I cried. We didn't care about them, the boys. But I was like, Oh, oh Rachel! Don't yay. you look beautiful? Thank oh my you. goodness! It's so good to okay. see you in person. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? Hello. You know, when I said on the chat, we we didn't know if we could make it, and he made it happen. Oh, oh, that's that's awesome. We were gonna come oh on gosh. Wednesday. And so, so yeah. I'm hey, so Joe. Glad. Hello. How's it and going? the monkeys. These are a couple of monkeys. The couple of the monkeys. <laughs> this is Kate and this is Max. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hello. Oh wait, now we got we got the good cook. That's yes. him. <laughs> well, you're the one wearing the apron now. Yeah, well. So we got Steve. And we got, we got to tell everybody who your name is? I'm Greg. You're oh, yeah. Greg? The director of marketing. You're the yeah. director of marketing. Yeah. So you just make sure that everybody knows about Keto Chat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? A party. A party. How you doing? Doing good. And who are you? I'm Travis. Travis? Yep. And do you work for Keto Chat? I worked for Keto Chat for about a month now. What do you do? I'm in customer service. So, customer service? How do yes. you like it? I love it. I love it. I'm living living yes, yeah. living my best life. Do you like, like working like, for Keto Chow or do you think the customers are awesome? The well, one customers one are awesome, but I love Keto Chow. Yeah. Yeah. I actually moved here from Ohio, so. You moved here from Ohio right. just to work for Keto Chow? Well, that okay, was you a win. bonus. Yeah, you I, win. I had to find a new job and I, I yeah, they let me work here. So. We met a girl at Redmond the other day who moved from Fort Lauderdale, which is where we're at. Yeah. And she moved here and now she gets to work for Redmond. So we're like, oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's, yes. Yeah, I was like, I was looking at Lakanto. There's all these great places in, in Utah yeah. related to Keto. I'm, we're like, in love with it. We're already, we've never been to Utah yeah. before and now we're like, okay, we're coming back. When's the next trip? Yeah. Well, I Probably saw, during the winter. That's how some of our reactions have been since we moved here. We're like, oh my gosh, look at the mountains. Yeah. First time I saw you was at our Two Crazy Ketos meetup. Oh, where we live streamed them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that I had to crawl up the stairs. Oh. Yeah. I mean, literally, okay. I was holding yeah. on and, yeah. Um, 90 pounds, two knee replacements later, no cane. Wow, um, that's so, so awesome. Um, and I want to thank you because you guys were one of the first people that she brought, hey, let's do keto. And I'm like, eat fat to lose fat. It, it makes no power. sense, right? <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes and, no sense. And then I, sadly, I go through things and I dig and I dig and I dig and I dig. And then I, when I realized that really you're metabolizing your body to burn fat, so that when you have a calorie deficit, it sees a large storage of food rather than, oh my gosh, we need to put you in starvation mode. That's right. And you guys were a big part of convincing me that this crazy quack concept actually works. Crazy, crazy quack. Crazy quack. Crazy crap. Crazy crap. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> so I need to lie. I just want to introduce when I go camping, camera? you know, the yes. little bucket ones. Can you tell? So this is Libby. Libby M. That's how I show up. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, give us your handle so that everybody knows. I love your recipes. I just made a big batch of the taco seasoning today. Isn't that awesome? Well, I always keep taco meat in the fridge because we have a... Um, Serious Keto showed a 90-second taco recipe yep. that you can make in the microwave. So Keith can make tacos whenever he wants. That's awesome. He wants 90 seconds is precisely how much time I want to spend cooking. 90 right. seconds, exactly. That, when, I, when I put that taco seasoning together, because I didn't realize there was sugar yeah. in taco seasoning. And when I put it together, I'm like, why have I been buying taco seasoning all these years? I can make it. You know, it's just... I, I'm an obsessive label reader. We don't buy a whole lot of pre-packaged stuff because I'm like, no, Dex, no, Meltro, no, 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 I'll just make it. Yeah. <laughs> and how long, it. how long have you been doing keto? We've been doing keto since January 5th of 2020. We, the, like the first time we ever saw you guys was at the meetup that you guys live streamed. We can, I can see us in there 
Is that the coolest thing ever? 80, almost 90 pounds and almost 100 pounds heavier. Wow. We've lost that set, even during yeah, COVID. Yeah, knee replacement and everything. Yeah. So what is the coolest is, did he show you uh, their wedding bands? Because, no. okay, her says, I won. I win. I, I win. win. And her sa he says, no, I win. That's our only argument. Why don't we have that? <laughs> we live it. I don't know why we don't have that. That is flipping brilliant. And who is this? And this is Suzanne. Suzanne. Hello. Suzanne. <laughs> What's your handle? Suzanne. Suzanne. <laughs> okay. And this is Phil. Hi. How you doing? And so they're putting I'm out. I'm shaking hands. It's just like I got to hold the camera. And they are, they're just putting in air conditioning in their home too. How long have you guys been doing keto? Dirty keto. There's no such thing. Okay. Wait. Mental there is no keto. such thing as dirty keto. Wow. There is your keto. Yeah, yeah. I was I, doing yeah. dirty keto when the pandemic hit. I okay, we got to get that word out of his lane. Yeah, yeah. I was doing COVID keto. Yeah. COVID yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I was COVID doing COVID keto, keto for real. It was pretty hard. Yeah. Yes. You don't yeah. see me much. I'm more of a lurker. You've answered a couple of my questions. But, how you doing, Paul? Um, good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, nice to see you. We've been long-time followers of <laughs> two crazy you. ketos. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Another Debbie, see? Oh, I know. I know. I so I don't give up. So many Debbies. I mean, exactly. You just got to put, this honey, is this is Debbie, Debbie from the Low Carb Cruise. Yes, I know. And that's okay. why I was, I was like, Debbie? And I was like, I know. Yeah, that's, we, yeah, we that's how I handed the wrong talks, mug to. Every, we start talking Debbie and go, okay, there, what Debbie? Which Debbie? <laughs> it was like, isn't that, um, have you ever seen that, my, my big fat Greek wedding? And it's like, Nick, 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 Diane, Diane, Diane. They all have the same. Well, you can uh, tell. It's like a because when I was in high school and someone said Debbie, yes. the whole lot yeah. I'm going to wow. walk around and put this down because yeah, it's heavy. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we got Grandpa Joe over here with his camera. We got camera. Grandpa Joe. Uh, so go ahead and grab some food. At some point, we'll make Joe and Rachel stand up there and talk to us. You probably would need to sit close. We can't do that. We're very shy. Yeah, I know. Rachel doesn't know how to talk in front of a crowd. I know. I know. Yes. I know. <laughs> right. Well, everybody enjoy food. Yep, so go ahead and grab some food. Now we're going to make Joe and Rachel talk. All right. I'll let you go first, Grandpa Joe. People want to know where Grandpa Joe came from. But, but why don't you share? So we had a subscriber named David J. Yeah. And Jason? Jason, uh, one day, well, you actually started it because of my glasses. I did. And he just picked it up and ran with it and sent me a letter opener that said Grandpa Joe. And she oh. thinks it's funny to call me Grandpa for some reason. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're younger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to say, first of all, thank you to Chris and Miriam and Keto Chow and the whole <laughs> Keto Chow group for doing this. But to all of you who subscribe to Two Crazy Ketos, to who follow us, who click on our links, who support us, who tell us your stories. I don't think I could ever put into words what you guys mean to us and what you're sharing your stories mean to us. And we have been privileged this week to spend some time with Chris and Miriam and to go down and spend some time with Redmond. And I thought it was fitting because for those of you who may be new to our channel or may not know who we are, so we started Two Crazy Ketos as a joke. It literally was a joke. Because our kids like got old. Yeah. And we, we didn't know how to talk about anything other than our children. We came home from church one day and we're like, what are we going to do? Like, we've got one who's going to get married. We have the other two graduating high school. Like, what are we going to do? And we'd been doing keto. We'd each lost 100 pounds. And people kept asking us about keto. And I said, Let's start a YouTube channel, and then we don't have to keep telling them. We can just say, go watch our videos. And if you don't know Rachel, at the time, she had the worst anxiety. And she was like, I can't do that. I can't be on camera. And every time we would turn on the video camera, she would have to go into the restroom to vomit for an hour. So, so those, early, those early videos were cringy on all kinds of levels, not just the lighting. It, it, it was a joke, though. And we made two videos and did nothing with it in for five months. And then somehow Rachel reached out to Chris and Miriam and said, hey, we want to try your product. Can you send us some? And 
at that by that time we had like three or four hundred subscribers and then Redmond messaged us because we did a video where we put a thing of Redmond salt on the table because we loved their salt to all it was we loved their salt and uh, somebody from Redmond messaged us and like hey are you guys coming to KetoCon and we're like no plans on it they're like can you come and we went and they had an event and they introduced us to Dr. Barry and they introduced us to Chris and Miriam but if they brought us to KetoCon and Chris and Miriam brought us to, like introduced us to people. But when we were at KetoCon, we saw like people who never had hope with hope in their eyes. Yeah. And people who were like us that when we talk, we would walk, and I still do it sometimes. I know. I'm sorry if I bump into people. You walk with your head down because you don't want to make eye contact because you're so ashamed of how you look and how you feel and you don't know how to communicate with people. And we were at this, this conference and we're like nobody's walking with their head down and everybody is awesome and everybody is friendly and we looked at each other and we left there and we said this is our mission to change lives to help people to be their encouragement to be what we never had in our life and that's where this came from but it's because of you guys and every time you share your story with us every time you tell us I'm off of medication or I was able to go from not walking up a flight of stairs two years ago to look at me now we're like yes, it, yes, it, yes. It, it keeps us going and every time we get to a point in our life where we're like do we make an impact somebody in this room or somebody on our channel sends us our mess sends us their their story and we're like okay we make a difference yeah and so we wanted to just say thank you because it means a lot to us and it keeps us going and you're helping us fulfill our mission yeah well and i was packing for this trip and normally like chris will tell you like i'm wearing something that is either faux fur or feathered so it was weird because joe was like why you know that that's a strange thing to pack in your bag but i thought it was really appropriate because i've only ever worn this dress one other time and that was to my dad's wake and um, it was one of those dresses that like you just can't throw it out and you also can't wear it again right and because it's associated with so much emotion and I think that that is what everybody's keto journey is if you're here you probably have come out of something or you're going through something and 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 there's a lot of emotion attached to that and I thought this is the opportunity our first meetup we get to meet people like this is so exciting and I get to put a purpose to my pain so this dress because you're here I get to redeem this dress because it's not just about that moment of sadness, but, but there's, there's hope on the other side of it. And that's really what we hope that we can do is help to build a community where people know like, this ain't where we're staying. We aren't staying sad. We're not staying hopeless. There's hope on the other side of this. And you know, whatever pain that you've experienced and, and like Joe had said, oh, he, he like, he totally sidled. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should join the mafia if this doesn't work out. Um, but because he's like, I didn't hear him. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like it, all of the pain that's associated with it. It's like, don't, don't stay there and don't not share your story because we're just one story. We're, we're two people who, who had a past of pain. Yes. Not only did we lose weight, but my crippling anxiety and depression and my social anxiety where I could not be in front of people. I, I've been a kid's pastor for many, many years. I started in kids ministry when I was 16 because kids don't judge you. Kids friend you. Kids don't bully you. Kids accept you for, for who you are and they withhold judgment and it was a safe place for me. But because of this keto community and people like Chris and Miriam and you guys, like everywhere is safe. I, I can tug you backwards to make sure oh. you're in the shot. In in the shot. Oh hi. <laughs> hey editing Joe. I love you. you look, your butt looks cute tonight. Um, but anyway, so thanks for being out here. Thanks for helping me redeem my dress. I hope that we can help you redeem some of your clothes. That maybe in the past it was associated with some pain or some hurt, and see and help you see that there's joy on the other side of this. And it's not just health that you're gaining. But it's gaining your life back. Like when we were all this week, we have been doing all of these fun, exciting things like riding around in a raft and, and, and sliding down a slide. And for so many reasons, for so many years, we never did any of that because I was afraid that if I sit down on the slide, I, or I'm going to break the seat that I'm in and I'm going to be embarrassed and I don't want to have to live through that. Or I think that I, I you know, I'm going to be overheated or I'm not strong enough. And I see that even though we're like 
getting into Grandpa Joe age, it's okay. Like life is not over and we really want to live like our life to the fullest. We're so thankful for this life and we're so thankful for your life. And, and I want you to be able to live it. So, so please, like after this meetup too, like email us, contact us. If you, if you need us, we're there because it's not just a YouTube channel. Now we see like we're real people. I see you, you see me and, and, and we're friends and, and that's forever. So thanks for letting us be a part of your day today and hopefully a part of your lives. I did want to finish up with one thing and that was we have a challenge for you. So we were going down the river today. Chris and Miriam took us down the Provo River to go rafting, and it was awesome because we got to be with the kids. So you had eight of us going down the river, holding on to each other's rafts, and we were bumping into the sides and then getting stuck on rocks, but one person would hit the rock and it would twist us around and everybody would dislodge us out of there. And Miriam said a comment, and it's just sticking with me, that this is like our journey because we're able to pull each other out of the ditch. We're able to pull each other and be support for each other. And we're each other's life jackets. You know, we had to wear life jackets out there. And our challenge for you is to please go out there. Be the person that pulls somebody out of a ditch. When you see somebody who's struggling, when you see somebody who's, hey, I don't know what to do. I'm not saying shove keto on them, but just be their friend. Be the person who gets them to take their eyes from on the ground and lift them up and look at you. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes you think, well, I need to be a certain part in my journey to be able to have that influence. But you know, sometimes Sam pulled us out. And he was the littlest member of our party, but because, you know, he was willing to like put his leg out and like, you know, paddle if we needed, because, you know, we'd say, go this way. And Sam was like, you know, like our little rudder doing it. Like, we all had an opportunity to like get each other out of the ditch. So, we yeah. a little bit more because she was the MVP because she kept jumping in the water. And she there was, was no way I was going in that water. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was super cold. But yeah, she was next level mom. So. Thank you very much. Guys. Thanks, guys. <sighs> that was awesome. It was awesome. I'm tired, but I'm, I'm not tired from the meeting. I'm tired. It was a long day because we went tubing. It's like a happy tired because I had so much fun meeting people. It's like awesome people. It was the best day ever. My feet are not normally in heels, so yeah. so my feet are like, what have you been doing? So we're we've already put back on the flip flops. So uh, yeah, so now my my feet are happy, and I just feel just like a hum of delight because it, it was, was just so a great cool day. Because I mean, this is our first meetup, and it was just a lot of fun, and so many awesome people. We got to hear stories and see successes, and and see where people came from, and. Everybody was awesome. Keto Chubb was an awesome host. Amazing host. And now if you like didn't get a chance to come to the meetup, don't worry. We have, There's like more. we said earlier, we're going to be in Omaha in August. We're going to be in Kentucky in September. We're going to do some kind of meetup down in Florida, probably November, December. And we're going to try to get to more of these kind of things and arrange more kinds of things. We need to know from you guys, though, like where are you located? Where you at? And uh, like how we can do things, maybe get some people that can help us like assemble people, find a place. And we're going to try to get out there more now that kind of restrictions have been let out because this is so much fun. I just want to fly around the country and meet people now. That's just Me what too. I want to do, right? So that is going to be the end of this video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out whatever video YouTube is going to recommend that you would like. And I'm going to put that right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.